All right, guys, Papa Pepper down at the lake today with a sack full of water moccasins that we're relocating to a more remote location from a local swimming hole and fishing hole where people are known just to go down there and not only enjoy fishing and swimming, but also just kill the water moccasins. So this is one that I'm putting out there because of requests. If you guys saw my video of how to accurately identify a water moccasin, you know that at that time I just grabbed a water moccasin, showed you a bunch of things about it, and said, uh, there you go. And everyone's like, dude, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to pick up their tail and look underneath to see how many scales they got after their vent. I'm not going to, you know, get close enough, hopefully, to see their heat pits. Like, I need to be able to identify one from a distance. So this is to please you guys, okay? This is how to accurately identify a water moccasin from a safe distance. So I'm going to let these guys go one at a time here, and that'll give you a... Uh, a number of individuals so you can see some of the variation within the species and hopefully that'll help you or if you're ever out somewhere I'm not going to confuse a broad-banded water snake or a plain-bellied water snake or a northern water snake for a cottonmouth which is also known as a uh, water moccasin so I'm gonna get these guys out we'll do some uh, filming in and out of the water And hopefully it'll give you guys a good idea of just how to accurately identify one from a safe distance. And the more you kind of familiarize yourself with how they swim, how they look when they're sitting, that type of thing, hopefully it's going to help you in the future. So I'm going to get these guys going. All right. Big ones in here too.
to film a little bit of this quick.
note how he mimics rattlesnakes with his tail. So here we should be able to see him do two of the things that they do. See his tail shaking and his mouth opening. They'll mimic a rattlesnake by shaking their tail like that and if it's on dry leaves or something it'll actually sound like a, like a rattlesnake. And then they will open their mouth too. Sometimes just curl up and open their mouths when threatened. And when they display that big white mouth, that's why they call them cotton mouths. Because it looks like he's got a mouthful of cotton. Nice white, open, gaping mouth. Look at that. This, there's not an uncommon way to find them. When you stumble upon them, often they will coil up and display that big mouth right in the middle. And they will just sit there and stare at you. This is one of their defense mechanisms. This is most common. This is where they get their name from. Any snake that's pretty much doing that, the way that this is in North America, you're pretty much dealing with a cotton mouth. It lifts its head. That chin pattern and color where it's kind of bronze, that's going to be pretty, pretty common. And you can notice the transition on the back as it gets a little lighter towards the belly scales as well. You can also see that it's flattened this bo its body at this point. And back to the vent where it's rib ri wiggling, it's flat and then after the vent it's, uh, it's more straight. But they try to, they try to act big. Puff themselves up 
I'm going to set the coil up like this and just sit there and stare you down. If I raise my hand over the top of him, he'll open his mouth. If I remove it, he'll close his mouth. Put it back over the top and it gets bigger again. I don't know if you can see those fangs or not. But they're certainly there. Yeah, you can see them. And the tail is still going as well with the rattle. See the color a little better. It's in the shade. This is probably going to be some of your best color to actually check them out and identify them from what I'm showing you right now. There are non-venomous water snakes with similar patterns, but, but they're different than this. Alright guys. I hope that was informative for you. I know not everyone's going to grab one of these, even if they do have a pair of serving tongs. So guys, hopefully that gave you the information that you need so that you don't need to take one of these, look it in the eye and say, well, look at that. He's got fangs and heat pits and slits and he's got single belly scales after the vent. Now you guys don't need to pick him up, figure out if it's a water moccasin. You can just accurately identify him from a distance and be safe about it. So, all right, guys, probably don't do this at home. Just stay safe out there in the wild and uh, enjoy yourself. It's a beautiful world out there. Pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.